We're flying to Tampa, upper class. Sharp left, I can do that. Guy. That's cool. You better bring me about a fucking t shirt, I'll tell you that. Florida, Las Vegas. What one do you want? California one. California one. California one. California one. You heard it, he said he's going to bring me back a California t shirt on video. Have a nice time. So. See you later, honey. Have a nice time. Thank you, Take care. See you soon. Have fun. Right, just dropped them off at Heathrow, Virgin, first class. Lucky bastards, they won the bidding on the tickets, didn't they? So, yeah, I'm off home and I'm gonna let you know how THCA is made. Yo, and we are back. What is going on? That was a little bit of a mission this morning, but you know, we've done it. I mean, you may ask you a favor, you know, just I'm sure he'll do it for me in the future. But anyway, you tuned in to see how THCA flour is made. Let's get into it, yeah? A little bit of a science lesson for you straight away. So, THC. Is what we all talk about in the you hear it in the papers and everything well thca is thc it's just not been decarboxylated so what happens is is when you've got your bud and you look at all the crystals on it most of it's thca but because thca converts very easy into thc with just the elements that we have around us just air a bit of warmth you know, and especially when you spark it up or you hit it on a bong or you vaporize it, it gets to a certain temperature and then it combusts, decarboxylates into THC. But in America, their farm bill, this ain't the same in, in, yeah, this ain't the same in England. Well, there is a little it's kind of a loophole, but it's just never going to happen. But anyway, in America, their farm bill says anything under 0.3% THC is classed as hemp. Now, yeah, that's everywhere. My, everyone's has that similar sort of understanding, don't we? That anything under 0.3% THC is hemp. But they have a loophole in their one. So they're allowed to have THCA because it's non-psychoactive on its own until it's decarboxylated into THC. It's non-psychoactive. I mean, you'd, you'd ingest it, say you just ate some THCA, you might feel something because of the way it's worked through your body and in into your blood, but you're never going to get anywhere near if that was you at THC. Do you see what I'm saying? It's non-psychoactive technically. Technically it's non-psychoactive. But as soon as it's warmed up, bang, you've got THC. So this THC flower that you're seeing, shall I tell you how it's made now? So I had, a, I had a theory that they kept the grow rooms cool and they grew it in a lower temperature to stop the conversion of THCA into THC. You know when you, they get tests and it says 30%? Yeah, that's because it's grown in an environment for it to decarboxylate on its own in a natural in, environment. But if the temperatures are cooled in the grow room, then it would stop the conversion as much. But then I found out the other day, actually what they do is, yes, they do grow in a cooler environment and they've got their temperatures dialed in and everything, but they pull their crop two weeks early. So they start their flush early, they do everything early. So they bring it two weeks early. And what that does is that guarantees that there is no conversion from THCA into THC. So when they come to do their testing, when they get their bud, they send it off to get their CRAs, it comes back at under 0.3% THC because the THCA is not being tested for, because it's non-psychoactive. So you can have a plant now with 30% THCA and 0.3% THC, and as soon as you spark it up, that 30% is converting straight into THC. When you look at THC flower, everyone thought it was hemp. It's not hemp. It's normal cannabis strains that you would buy in your dispensary, of your plug, whatever you do. It's the normal strains. It's just grown at a lower temperature and also harvest two weeks early. That is literally, I was half correct in what I thought. 
But I was always under the assumption that when you pulled a plant early, it tasted different. Because in the UK, right, there's a lot of underground grows. Some people, it comes on top and they've got to chop it. They've got to chop it two or three weeks early and this and the other. And you can smell it and you can taste it. But obviously these guys have got it down. Like these are professional people, like. So they're obviously giving it their sugars. They're giving it their all the nutrients they need. They're probably pumping it, but still pulling it early. You know what I mean? But making sure they've got a clean product at the end. But yeah, that's how TACA flour is manufactured or made or grown or whatever you want to say. It's just grown, I suppose. But yeah, that's how it's grown. And they pull it early. Simple, man. That is literally, they have got... I mean, the farm bill's up for review soon anyway. So it might all change. But at the moment, in most of America, you can get TACA. In England, it's such a grey area. There's just no point trying to test it. Just no point trying to get go to court and all that. It just wouldn't be. I mean, the systems are so backwards over here anyway. So... We've only just got medical the last few years, do you know what I mean? But anyway, that's by the by. So I hope this video has given you some sort of information of is THC flour hemp or normal flour? No, it's not hemp. It's classed as hemp, but the THCA is up there. And you know, smoke it, you're good. Whatever, vape it, do whatever you want to do, and that's how it converts. So that's the end of the video, my people. And if no one said it to you today, I'm going to say it to you, all right? I love you. And I hope you have a blessed day and enjoy the little bit of weather that we've got left. All right? Take care. See you on the next one.